yeah, that definitely took the shine away. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Today is Monday, January 3rd, and I don't know what time it is. It's like noon, almost 1 o'clock, but I got my package here. So I'm going to show y'all some of the bags that I had got from Coach. Yeah, I'm going to show y'all some of the bags that I had got from Coach, and I ordered these like a while ago, so I've been waiting for them to come in. There's only three of them. I got one more than this one, but... um. It's not coming until two days from today. So these are the ones that I got for now. And I would tell y'all pricing, but I don't know if they put a thing in here with the price on. Oh, actually they do. Okay, boom. But I'm not gonna know which is which. So I'm gonna tell y'all the prices right now. One of them is 195, one of them was 137, and one of them was 161. And these were on sale. I got these from um the coach outlet so yeah all of the stuff was on sale marked down at least like 20 30 percent some of them look like they was 50 percent off almost but yeah so let's open them Ooh. of course you need a red bag you know look at this it's small too and it has the double handle, so you have the long handle, and then you have this handle right here. I like this bag so much. This is so cute. This is so cute. I'm probably not going to take all the paper and stuff out of it, because I'm not going to wear them yet. So, I'm just going to show y'all what they look like. Oh, yeah, so it says this bag was $3.28 normally. So, yeah. got pockets in there it's, it's pretty good size actually this is um, nice and light to carry around on days so you don't feel like having a big bag this one, ah! and this one is my favorite one it's my favorite one well from the website so this is the first time me seeing them in person so this was my favorite one that was on the website oh it's so cute and look it's got the snake print on the side and I think the handle might be snake print too. Yeah, the handle is also snake print as well. And they have the long strap too, as well as the um, the short strap. Snake print on both sides and snake print across the handle. And this is what the uh, front buckle looks like. So these are, these are nice fucking bags. This shit, look at this. This is nice quality. Yes, and so this is super cute. And so this one normally is three ninety eight. So y'all want to tell? I got these bags on the steal, bitch. All these bags is at least like a hundred dollars off, man. That's crazy. So yeah, this one was three ninety. This is a four hundred dollar bag that I got for like a hundred something dollars. This is probably the one that's like one ninety something. I bet. So yeah, I'm telling y'all, fuck with the Coach Outlet and fuck with Coach. Don't be breaking y'all bank trying to get the YSLs and the Gucci's and the Chanel's, bitch. For one fucking Chanel, I can get like. All the coach bags, really. <laughs> I can have one every color. Shit, what are you talking about? You be just, never mind, let me stop. I'm not, I'm not going to come for y'all. But wouldn't you rather that than you have the same bag in every one of your pictures because you can only afford one real designer bag? I'm just saying. But anyway, just a thought, just a thought. This is the last one. Well, it's not the last one. It's the last one that came today. And I'll show y'all the other one when it come in. Y'all, look at this! This shit cute as fuck! Come on now. Come on now. Look at the gold chain hardware. So this one also has the long strap or the mini strap that you can carry, whichever you like. And it has lots of pockets. Pockets on the back side. Snaps open like this. Look at this logo. This is really, really, really nice. 
Oh my God, I'm so glad I picked these bags. It's crazy, I picked these online. And this one was $3.50 normally. Okay, another almost $400 bag, okay, for the low low. Fuck with the Coach Outlet. Coach Outlet, if y'all end up seeing this video, give your girl a sponsorship. I ain't got no sponsorships. I just started this YouTube shit, man. I bought these bags with real money, okay? I'm already supporting the brand. Support your girl. Come on now. So, like I said, fuck with the Coach Outlet. Go see what they talking about. And like I said, y'all, fuck with these bags. I'm telling you, don't be breaking your bank and don't be feeling um less than because you can't get the chanel's and the ysl's and the fucking louis bitch you will pull the same niggas with these bags trust me i know okay your heart keep it in your pocket for step keeping don't ever let nobody be the reason you throw it out Stop caring about it Don't let your head get in the way Can't be defined by your mistakes You know you try and you try really hard But sometimes you fall Yeah, sometimes you fall
be telling the cat, it's nosy. Stop eating it. Stop. You gonna come around and choke on some cake, bro. You can't eat that. You can't eat that. Miracle. Stop. Bro, okay. Alright, when well, your ass start talking again, I'm not saying I'm not saying you. Like, I told you, stop talking. Like oh, you made me feel like we could do it all over again, all over again.
guys. Good morning. Um, what's today? Today is a Wednesday lives. I'm lying. Today is definitely Thursday. Yeah, today's Thursday. I'm not sure why I thought today was Wednesday. But as you can see, I ain't got no wig on my head. She over here, I'm, I'm taking off my blue for today. You know what I'm saying? She done had a good run. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably put her back on later on in the summertime, springtime, somewhere down. But I'm finna um, put a different wig on. It's going to be um, basically the same look, but just all natural color. So, yeah, it's going to be a closure instead of a frontal. That's why I got this on my head because I have oil around my edges to loosen up the, the glue stuff to make sure it all comes off my head. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then today is Thursday, so it is also my posting day. So I got to go work on some wigs, take some pictures and some videos and all types of stuff make some reels, make some TikToks and whatnot, because today is content day. So, that's what I'm doing today. I'm about to go heat up my leftovers from last night. And, um, yeah, go work on my wig. I don't know if I told y'all this, but I recently um got certified as a digital marketer, a digital marketing specialist person or whatever in the fuck. So, um, I've been working on implementing some of those things that I learned from taking that course into my business. And I just hit, um, I just unpaused my ads today, like literally like five minutes ago. So I kind of am like nervous because I really want them to do good. I really hope my ads do really good. I felt like I learned a lot from that course. I really did learn a lot and I implemented a lot and I have still been researching since I took the course. So... You know what I'm saying? I'm still, you know, gaining knowledge about digital marketing through Google and whatever. But yeah, I'm excited about that because I finally went ahead and pushed the button and it was like, start. Let's go. Let's see what happens because I had another promo situation that I was supposed to do for my business fall through for me. Like from a, a very popular YouTube uh, influencer. So and this was around Black Friday. And basically, that shit falling apart, like, basically discouraged me from fucking with the influencers, period. Like, it's just, when you're a small business owner, that's very risky business because it costs money. And it, you're also sending product. You know what I'm saying? And if bitches ain't going to make the video, what you going to do? You know what I'm saying? And so that's basically what happened to me. I might give y'all a story time about it later, one day, maybe. It's gonna start some shit, okay? It's gonna start some shit, but I really don't give a fuck because that bitch was wrong. And the way she handled it was wrong, and the way that she came at me through emails was wrong. I got all the receipts. And Do you want me to, to bring the receipts? Do I need to bring the receipts, oh, baby girl? Because no. no. I got receipts. No. What is she talking I'm just waiting on that day that I get the itch that be like, bitch, go ahead, tell it. <laughs> go ahead, tell it, okay? I just ain't got that itch yet, so I ain't said nothing. But that is why I chose to go the route of just fucking turning myself into a goddamn digital marketing specialist on my own. I got the free time. I know how to Google shit and find courses. I Googled my way into owning my own business, bitch. Ain't, ain't, ain't too much I can't Google my way into, okay? Period. Since motherfuckers don't want to help a bitch, even when I'm paying, might as well do it myself. You know what I'm saying? Save me a little bit of coin. And when you think about it, I am saving coin because... She was charging me a thousand dollars for the promo. Google is literally charging me like three hundred and fifty dollars for the promo. Unlimited ads, all the shit. If you really want to know about it, DM me or message me. And if you have a business, and I will help you through all the shit, and I'll tell you how to do it, and how to set it up, and all that shit, really, and how to do the keywords and all that shit. Because I almost paid somebody else what it was like twelve hundred dollars. For three months of like three keywords. Now that I'm a digital marketing specialist and I took the course on my own, I have unlimited keywords and I know how to work it and I know how to do the keyword finder and all that shit. It's just do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm already an entrepreneur. When you're already a, a business owner, you're used to doing shit your motherfucking self. That's how you built the shit from the beginning anyway. 
by yourself. You know what I mean? Go with what you know, baby. Go with what. Trust who you can trust. You. Okay? If it's one thing a business owner know, bitch, I can rely on me. And that's literally about it. That's about it. You know what I mean? So that, you know, we're going to try this out. Yeah, I'm going to talk to y'all later. If I film anything else, I'm probably going to film me uh, styling my wig and whatnot. So, yeah. Keep it in your pocket for safekeeping. Don't ever let nobody be the reason. You throw it out. You stop caring about it. Don't let your head get in the way. Can't be defined by your mistakes. You know you're trying. You're trying. Sometimes I fall Bundles that I made myself. 
Um, I do make custom wigs. I don't have um, a section on my website yet for like a custom made wig. It's just like the wigs that I already made and already dyed and colored or whatever. They're already up there. But if you want one specifically made for me a specific kind of way, I will be adding that to the website very soon. So you'll be able to do that. But any wig that you order from me is going to come from my vendor. It's going to be factory made, basically. This one is not. So it don't, um, combs, no straps, no nothing. Just regular wig cap. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, at home. And I'm pretty sure I have a, um, a DIY how to make a wig video somewhere on my channel. More than likely more than one video. So if you wanna uh, learn how to make a wig, this ain't gonna be the video. It's in some of the other videos, you can just go find it. But yeah, this ain't, this ain't even really a how to put on a wig video. This is just what I'm doing today. And I'm vlogging. So this is what I'm vlogging. So if you would like tutorials, scroll around for tutorials or go on the uh, watch me work playlist I have on there. So anyways, let's get to putting her on. So I do kind of want it to sit to the side a bit more. So I'm going to probably lean it that way a bit more. It's a mirror right here. That's what I'm going to be looking at. It's hard for me to see in this phone. So I'm going to do it this way. And I'm trying to see over a little bit and then. So this is where I placed it. As of right now, I'm just gonna take my band, snitch the mug down. This band is also available on my uh, website. You get it uh, free anytime you order any bundles or wigs from me. It comes in your package or you can buy it by itself. I believe it's like $8 on the website by itself if you wanna buy it. And so I'm just gonna let these do what it do for the meantime. I ain't gonna lie, it's like stuck on there. I did really good with the glue application because as soon as I set it down, it's like I can feel it like. My hair, it don't move. You, you know what I'm saying? You know wigs give you a, a bit of a facelift. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's got your girl snatched, okay? So I really don't even need the band, but it's just routine for me to do, so yeah. So I'm just gonna chill with this on my head for a minute and then come back and cut the lace off and do my baby hairs and whatnot. Be careful. 
with my heart, oh Say I'm not sensitive, but I can sense a fit Okay, I'm gonna leave um this band on my hair for like a while So, this is where we at right now Y'all, I'm loving this fucking part And when I tell you, I didn't like pluck this any fucking extra I just parted it you know what I'm saying? Like, all I did was part it. This part looks motherfucking. That shit look good. The closure is giving me what I need in my life. I mean, what do we expect? It's JD or beauty, right? Right? It should be top quality. That's what we pay for. Yeah, I'm fucking with it. And I'm liking this dark color. Woo! I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, I'm about to go. Um. She, I'm gonna go cook because this bitch is hungry. And, um, yeah, I need something to eat because I'm hungry. So, yeah. Hi, guys. I just wanted to come back and show y'all how the wig laid, honey. Okay. And I wanted to show y'all because, you know, I had cut the video off with my uh edge wrap on, so I want y'all to see what it was like giving in real life. I have not put any makeup on the part. I have not put any makeup on my hairline or anything like that. I might put some right here just because it's a bit like a little lighter when you like move a certain type of way. Y'all not happy with the lace just a little bit. So I'm going to tint it a bit more. But yes, it's very much, very much so giving, you know, you know. It's very much so giving, you know, and the robe is making me feel like a rich bitch, you know? You know the vibes. So, yeah, I'm probably going to um, put a little bit of makeup on my hairline. Not any on the part because I just don't feel like it needs any on the part. I feel like the part is good. I just want to put a little bit right there. Just a little. There ain't no need for me, like doing it doing it anyways because girl it's nighttime i'm gonna be in the bed in a few hours you know so this is really just for my own personal self oh yeah that definitely took the shine away oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah sorry i get a bit excited when the hair is giving scalp honey i do so yeah, that makeup took that shine all the way. It's gone. Do you see any lights? <laughs> any lights? Period. I love this.
give a pretty brown girl her space You can keep your bitter I'ma make a better way hey, hey, Can a nigga catch a break? like ID and stuff in the back part. It has a long strap that you can uh, carry it with or whatever. And so yeah, for days I don't wanna carry a whole bag. I have a um, cute little crossbody, you know? And I can wear it however. Let me see if my phone will fit in here. Well, I'm on this one, so I'm recording it back. And this is an old phone and it's big. So yeah, if it's look at that. Yeah, this is nice. So this is the front looks like on this. It's the hooks. Yeah, the strap. I guess I'm gonna have to put this box. I got this box stuff all over the couch. Money or something in here? Anything? Oh 
already got these gloves. Oh, this is tag. So how much was this originally? This originally was $228. And I think I got it for $100. And this is just like, I guess, the coach papers or whatever. So 